This is Big Dave family. D, Cerise, mom at a golf cart. They put on a hell of a show today. Hole number eight. Oh, he ran out of gas. I'd like to bring them to TV 21 and a regular TV showing kids and adults playing golf, just having fun. The big man, his wife and daughter is putting on a wonderful show. Hoping to made Revolution Park. Ah, oh, look at it. That was wonderful. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. A little bit more. On. It'll be in there. I'll give it another chance. Alright, here's, here's, here's D. Oh, uh, she's, she was too cautious. Too cautious. Too cautious. Too cautious. Hold that, hold that follow through. If you hold that follow through to go further. Hold the follow through to go further. You won't slow down. Alright, that's a that was pretty good I'm breaking. This is just a practice round. Wonderful. That's what I'm talking about. Tiger Jean will be proud of that. You can't slow down, you gotta go through. That's what you gotta do, hold that follow through. It'll get it to the hole. You'll stop coming short. All right, we're going to hole number nine, Revolution Golf Park, golf course. I found a young man, his wife and daughter, and his mom's in the car, who can uh, help me put regular golf on, not only just TV, public access TV 21, but on regular TV in the future. Uh, one thing I've determined for sure is that I, I need to play with them and get from behind this camera. That big man's got a touch like John Daly. And they only gonna get better. Maybe I can help them on uh, putting so they can go to the high side and stop coming short on some of them. But, but they seem to be doing it okay without me. All right, we're gonna walk down to the red tee. This is hole number nine. If it was plain regular, they would have to hit over that creek over there, or lay up on the creek. Dr. Charlie Sifford, of course. Hole number nine, par five. 487 yards. Supposed to take two shots to get up there on the green. Most of the guys are taking three shots. That's Dr. Charlie Sifford, flat. We've had some wonderful golf today by Mr. Dave and his family. Now we're going to this is the last hole. And here's where many golfers lose the tournament and, and mess up. But, they get to thinking in their mind, you know, this is the last hole. I'm so glad and they relax and hit the ball short into the woods, top the ball, doing things that they shouldn't do. When you get to the last hole, you got to hit that ball with all, all your energy. Like you're trying to kill somebody. That's what you got to do for the last hole and for playoff holes too. Yes, indeed. Now if you got the lead by three or five strokes, you can uh, 
take it easy a little bit. Other than that, this hole number nine is something that Tiger Jr. has to be taught how to manage by Coach and Andre Spring, former golf coach at Livingstone, Livingstone College. He brought championships to them, not only in golf, but basketball too. So he's legendary. I will call him once I get back home and see if we can set up an appointment for this weekend for Tiger Jr. to get another lesson, especially on holes seven, eight, and nine. Uh, whatever hole the coach thinks he should, it could be one, two, and three again. Yes, this is a golfing family. Dee, the young lady, I know she was nine or 11. She's been playing for five years. Dad won't tell me exactly how long he's been playing. I haven't asked why. But these guys are hitting it down the straight and narrow most of the time. Few bad decisions, but you know, you have to overcome a bad decision with a good decision. A bad execution with a good execution. Hole number nine. Got to get over this creek here. Or you can lay up. But basically, you're supposed to have two shots to, to get to the greens up there, so you don't want to lay up too far. That means it's going to take three. And that's okay. You still have two putts to get it in. If you get a putt in the chip. Two putts to get it in. All right, there they are. All right, Miss Dave, Miss Dave is pulling out her favorite driver. That T is kind of leaning forward. Every little thing matters in golf. All right, she's gonna borrow her daughter's driver, which she's had greater success with than her new driver. All right, let's practice swing. Always hit the grass first. Always hit the grass first. All right. I, I think it'll be all right. It's on the right, but it'll be all right. All right, here comes D. Here's his, his day's mom. All right, down the straight and narrow. Down the straight and narrow. Child is hitting further than me. Ain't that a shame? Straight and narrow. How does it feel to be playing so good? Um, it feels good. I, it's, it gives me more confidence. I want to come play with you guys. Y'all can help me with my game. Maybe I can help y'all with this putting. <laughs> Since I practice putting every day with the older dudes up on the tee. Putting green. Big Main has a natural draw. You can call it a hook, but it goes right and it comes back left. He can, that's his bread and butter shot. You can, he can depend on that. <laughs> now everybody should have a bread and butter shot that you can depend on with some club you can make work. That's a good thing to have. You know that what shot you're trying to pull is gonna work.
I guess I try to hit it straight down the fairway. I don't try to too much do fades and draws and things. I just want to hit from one angle to another angle. I guess that's Dustin Johnson type golf. Golf is a game of angles and accuracy. So I'll try to keep it in the middle of the fairway. Maybe boring, but it'll help you win tournaments. I don't want to be hitting from the trees, playing army golf, to another side of the trees, and back to the fairway. And as I said before, and we continue to say, even as Tiger Jr. gets better this game, yeah. The most important shot in golf is the second shot. Distance is okay. But in my mind, maybe this is a 200 yard tee. It's got 200 scribble on it. Distance doesn't matter. Grip doesn't matter. Swing doesn't matter. Millions of golfers have their own swing. They can't be programmed to a standard swing. They have their own grip. And if you don't hit 300 yards, 330, you still can win tournaments at 270 and 280 like Jim Fury. People brainwash think, well, if you don't hit 300, you can't win. That's a lie. Golf is a game of finesse. And we're going to come to golf in the 2020s, God willing, with some old fashioned bump and run. We all still can use some of these wet stuff that. Zach Johnson use pop and plop on the green. Tiger Jr. has continued to work on a fade because that's what most golf courses takes. He has a natural draw down straight, hits the ground, turn a little left. That's what Lee Trevino had. Tiger Jr.'s golf modern models, Jim Fury. All right, that's not too bad for Mr. David. All right. Here's D. I hope she tries out for the golf team in seventh grade. They won't let them play in sixth grade. She's good enough, better than most. I've been watching people play golf with Quite a while now. I've never seen that like this hit for this family here. Don't worry about that. The ground is wet. Been raining in a couple of days. If she miss hit the ball, laugh it off. Laugh at it. This is just a game of fun and entertainment. That'd be another golf course, another golf shot. You, you don't have to explode. Here come Mr. Dave here. Yeah? All right. He duffed it too. Been raining two days. This course is wet. It would have worked if it was normally on the dry side. So he knows what he's doing. And I've seen him <laughs> chip it to the green. I've got it recorded on my regular cam cord or whatever this thing called. It ran short on the battery, it ran out, so I decided to pull out this camera. Filming hole number nine, the last hole. All right, that's Cherise. She's up there by the green. All right, here comes D. She took some off of it. She took some off of it. She wasn't aggressive enough. This, this, this is the last hole. This is what happens many times to people. When you come to the last hole, last hole they get kind of relaxed. Stop being as aggressive as they should be. That's the big man here. Yeah? Nothing more than a black John Daly. It's on the green. 
That brother's got a touch of chipping and putting that I need, especially chipping. Maybe I can help him in putting. I come to practice putting every day if it's not raining. In a nine hole putting contest, cross the creek down with the guys. Whoever has the lowest score usually wins a dollar. You make it in one shot instead of two, that's a hole out and you get two dollars. I don't usually play the hole outs, but I make many hole outs. More than some of the guys who are playing hole outs for two extra dollars. Alright, I guess I'll go up top. So you de chip this ball. Hope I don't fall down. It's very wet out here. That's dad, our first coach. Ain't that pretty? Ain't that pretty?